hi all in this video let's learn about javascript coding interview question that is checking a pair in an array with the given sum so let's and we need to return back the index of that array elements fine so let me explain this problem so first thing is like so if you have an input like one two three four so this is an array and the target is six so it means we need to find the sum of any of the two elements like now here in this case two plus four will give you the result of six. So now the target element is six. And if the sum of any of this pair in this array should return, should be equal to this target. Then here in this case, two and four sum is six. And now we need to return back the index of this two and four. So this is what the JavaScript coding challenge. So let's try to achieve this. So firstly, let me explain you the normal way of solving this. Later on, we'll discuss the efficient way. So the first normal way, just I will explain you the thought process and uh, the efficient way will uh, explain about the code as well. So in the normal way, what we do is, so if this is an array and this is a target element, what we need to do is, so first thing is like, we'll take this one and we'll add with this two, one plus two and we'll verify with the target. No, it is not equal to the target. Then again, one plus three, we'll verify with the target. No, one plus four, it means we need to loop two times. First time, if one is completed and if we, the, it is not equal to the target element, again, we'll mean, move to two. Two plus three, again, we'll search two plus three is equal to the target element or not. If it is equal, then we'll return back this index like zero, one, two, three will be there, right? We'll be returning back the index. Now, again, two plus four. Yes, two plus four is equal to the target element six. Now we are going to return one and three as the output. But in this normal way, Okay, what happens is you need to use two loops, two for loops, and you need to iterate each and every element in this array. So this is the complex one. So this is not the uh, good solution. So now let's discuss about the more efficient solution. In this solution, what we'll do is we'll take an object. So firstly, we'll take an object. And what we do is we'll take this target six, okay, six minus one. Okay, what we are doing is the problem statement is if we add any two numbers that should be equal to this sum, right? Now, what we are doing is we are iterating only once and we are minusing the numbers like six minus one. Minus one means the first element we are looking. And now what is the result? Five. So now what we do is we will search for the five in this array. If the five is there, then one and five indexes we need to return back. It means we are taking this target and minusing each and every element in this array, okay? And if you get this result right, we are finding whether this element is available in this array or not, okay? Meanwhile, what we do with this object is, each time when I go iterate through this, if this sum is not available, then we'll just keep this as a key. So now six minus one is equal to five, okay? Now what I do is, first time we are coming into this loop, right? We'll make this i as a, a one as a key and we'll assign the zero as an index. Okay, we are putting these elements in this object for the first iteration because later when we, we need to identify whether the sum differences number is available in this object or not. If it is available, we can just return back its index. So let's see that what are we are talking about. I got, I think you got this thought process. We need to take the element and we need to minus the element the current element and we need to find this difference is available in the array or not if it is available you can give back the indexes of this one and five getting so fine let's uh, discuss a solution for this so we have a function here and this is uh, what we are passing so we'd also see the edge cases like we can have the negative numbers in the array and also you can have the negative uh, index as well so negative target number also you can have or, or also you can have negative numbers in the array as well so fine so now let's start this. As I said, let me take one object. So numbers index is one of the object I want to take. Okay, number indexes. So I will take this object. This is an empty object. Later on, now I will take one more variable. That is a difference. So just want to find the difference between the target element and the current element. Okay, now I am going to iterate through the loop. So I'm iterating through the loop. I'm finding the array dot length. So till the length, will be iterating i plus plus fine so we'll iterate only once so that is the reason we are uh, talking this as a efficient solution here what we do is difference so we'll take the difference equal to how we are going to find the difference the target element 
minus current element so this is the difference so in this case what we do sorry this should be i so in this case what we are doing the target is 6 minus what is the current element now we have 1 so now 6 minus 1 it means it is 5 okay we check this 5 is available in the object or not okay as this is the first time we are going inside so this will not be available okay if so we'll check whether the number index of so just we are this is an object we're trying to access a property inside this object we're trying to access a property of the difference so we're trying whether this 5 is available in this object or not okay if it is not equal to undefined it means it is available okay so we'll we'll do what if it is available what to do we'll do that so if what we're doing here is we are checking this object and if this five so the, in this object we are checking whether five is there or not if it is there it will not if it is there it is undefined it will not return undefined so it will go inside this if block there you can return back the indexes so we are going to return back the indexes in the form of array so now you need to return back the index of the current difference. So it's like, what is the index of this five? Okay. And also what is the current index of the I? So this is what we need to return back. Okay. If you, you are checking whether the five element is available in this object or not. So that is what you hear you are checking. Okay. Here the square is the notation where you want to access the value inside the object. So numbers object, we are trying to access whether the five is there or not is not there okay then 5 is not there then what we need to do we need to keep that in the object okay that's what we are doing if it is there if 5 is there then what it means it means you got the answer so 1 and 5 okay if 1 plus 5 becomes 6 so 1 is a current index you will return that and 5 is the index which you are seeing in this object you will return that okay now in the else if it is not there what we need to do we need to add that Okay, we need to add this five right so for example we are here what we are going to do is we are adding one we are adding this one to this object now in array index of i equal to i so we'll add this as an index so now what here we are doing is to this object yes one uh, six minus one is equal to five and uh, the five is not available in this array so now what we are doing we are in this object we are keeping one colon zero in this object what we kept is a current element and its index so let me write it again what we are keeping the current element current element and we are assigning its index so why we are assigning its index is so if you find any of the match to this index you you're going to access this index value okay current element as a key and zero as its index like index as its value okay now first iteration was done now let's go back to the second iteration. Now six minus two. Here we'll be getting six minus two. Now it is four. Okay. Now the difference is four. Now we'll check whether the four is available in this object or not. Is it four available in this object? No, four is not available in this object. So now what we do? Again, we come back here. We'll keep two and we are assigning. So the current element here, we will be getting the current element. It means you are inserting a new key inside this object that is two and assigning the current index that is one so you'll be having a object like this you're creating an object like this while you're iterating through the array now what we do again we'll go back and now this index becomes three six minus three yes it is three okay now six minus three is three and yes three is also not available in this object right so again you will go and again you'll keep the current element as three and it indexes two okay now this is what you have this is object you have now the last last iteration four when it comes to the four six minus four you'll be getting two okay now you are checking whether this two is available in this object or not okay that is what this if statement is doing is the two available in this object yes it is available two is available in this object so that is the reason it will stop at this if block and what you are doing is you are returning back this index so you are accessing the two okay if you access this two key you'll be getting this value so here what you are doing your number index dot differences means you are accessing the key you'll be getting one here so what you will be getting if you access that 
in this array the first one you will be getting one and the current index is three because you are at this position now so that's the reason you'll be getting as a three now you got a solution so if you add the indexes of one and three then you'll be getting the target element see two and four if you add six is your target element. so this is what we need to do so now you can see the output also we got the output one comma three fine if there is no match so for example if i say this as eight okay i want to return empty so instead of undefined if you want to return empty so then after the if block so once the if block was for block was done then just return an empty array so if this condition if this if loop was not right if the number was not found it will go back it will complete this if block and it will go to this return statement and now you can returning the empty string if the match was not found you are returning an empty string so now let's check this the same solution for the other inputs so now here we are taking negative elements in this array okay even if you take negative elements zeros also it will work so negative elements in the array and you are passing one so now we got the indexes if you add zero index and the fourth index you'll be getting the target item one so zero index is six and fourth index is like zero one two three four minus five so six minus five is one so that's the reason you got this index sometimes the target element can also be the negative element so that's the reason it is minus one so now zero and five if the index of zero is minus six and if you go back to the five okay fifth index means five minus six plus five you will be getting minus one okay this solution will work for the negative numbers in the array and also the negative number of the target also and if the element is not found we are returning an empty so here the only major point is like you are taking an object and you are inserting the current element with its index current element with its index once if you find the difference in this object so you are going to return back the indexes of the current element i mean the difference element and the current element that would be returned here okay so uh, this would be the efficient more efficient solution than uh, going with the two loops and iterating two times so hope you understand the solution so thanks for watching please subscribe for more videos